Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt from Matt GCPC and DSD1107. And a lot of people have been asking me about my new computer and what specs it has and all that. So this video is going to cover basically everything that is inside my new computer. My new computer is right there. As you can see, pretty large tower, pretty good build. Inside, you can see everything that's inside of it. Nice little window, which I like. It has a little flat in case you want to do an easy swap of a three and a half inch drive. Um, but I'm going to get to that later. Now, if you're curious about that casing, it's an Thermaltake Armor A60. Um, yeah. It has a bunch of fans inside of it. The front and top ones are blue LED fans. And then, of course, I told you about the three and a half inch easy swap drive, port drive on it. Lots of ventilation on it. And a really cool thing is that I can't really show you right now because I don't really want to move my computer that much is the underside of it has a lint trap. So if your fans do start sucking up a lot of um, dust, you can just rip it out, clean it off, swap, slide it back in without even opening up the case. So that's great. Now if you now it's time to get down to the nitty gritty stuff. I have all my packagings right there. Nined up in a nice leet order, but I couldn't really get a tripod at a good level to show them all here. So we're going to start from small to big. This is the processor I got. It's an Intel Core i7, um, i7-2600K, and fits into an LGA-1155 slot. Um, Four cores, eight-way multitask processing, Intel Turbo Boost 2.0 technology, Hyper Threading HD Graphics 2000, Smart Cache technology, integrated, yeah, yeah, yeah. Supports two-channel DDR memory, DDR3. So, Core i7, that's the processor. Moving on, we have the graphics card. This is a GeForce GTX 560 Ti. Um, run runs you about, eh, what was it? 230 bucks or so, so it's not all that expensive, especially when you get into the later models like the 590, which are like $700, and is absolutely ridiculous. Apparently, it comes with three month subscription or something else, and bonus. I don't know, I didn't really look at that. Highly satisfied with this. As of now, I've been able to run every game I've been doing on max quality without anything going bad going down. It has, um, it has a gig of dedicated memory to it, um, 3D. It supports 3D, the physics engine, DirectX 11, and SLI. So that's this. If you really care, keyboard K120. Don't know why you'd care. Um, I'm probably going to upgrade to Blu-ray later this year, but and I originally was going to use my old drive um, from my old computer to put in there, but then I realized it uses an IDE cord, which as we all know, is pretty much obsolete at this point, so I had to go to Best Buy and buy this thing. Bit overpriced. Um, this was like 40 bucks. If you go to Newegg, you can probably find the same one for like 20 bucks online. Uses SATA cables, 24X, multi-format DVD, standard DVD burner. I'm probably going to replace it with Blu-ray later this year because Blu-ray drive burner drive, Blu-ray burner drives on computers internal at least are actually relatively inexpensive, only like 30 bucks more than this, so I'm probably going to get that later this year. Power supply. I'm running a Corsair TX750, 750 of course for the wattage, um, and it has 80 plus bronze, which means it's basically good and efficient with energy. It has, I read online, it has like 83% power efficiency, which I believe because my computer actually has not been running hot at all. Maybe it's the seven fans. Maybe it's the fact that this works relatively well. Um, yeah. So this, it's running relatively well for me. I haven't had an issue to it yet, and I really haven't come close to hitting the 750 watts yet. And it was under 100 bucks, so that was good. Now, originally, I used the stock Intel fan that came with the um, processor. That's this. Um, don't even bother with this fan. The second I turned on the computer and heard how much noise this made is the second that I ordered a new fan. 
um, because this fan, I call it the Banshee because it actually woke my parents up down the hall. That's how much noise came with this fan made. So I highly recommend not using it. The install's easy. It's, you can see it's a shitty little fan. Um, but yeah. The fan I got to replace this today was this guy. Much bigger. Um, it's a CPU hyper cooler. Wait, CPU hyper. Cooler Piper N520 by Cooler Master supports, um, whatchamacallit, it supports Intel LGA 775, 1156, 1366, and of course the 1155. Um, it also supports AMD drives like AM2 and the AM3 processors. Um, it has two fans on it, an adapter so it only plug uses up one of your system fan ports, and it has bronze wait, not bronze, um, a mirror copper base, it's, and it runs relatively quietly, that's the one thing I looked up, it's, um, 19 dBA decibels something, I don't know what the A stands for in that, but point is, it's quiet, and that's mainly what I was looking for, and it heats it up, um, it doesn't heat it up, it keeps it cooler a lot better, it's a lot quieter, and it came with its own thermal paste and this nice, like, injection tube that looks like some weird syringe. So I really like this, um, for that reason, because it's so, um, actually, that's weird. It's weird that they have the, um, 11, as you can see, like, on the box, this 11, the thing that says it supports 1155 slots are, is a label. On the back, it doesn't even mention 1155. It's, it's that's weird. And, of course, the heart of any computer, the motherboard. Um... So you can see I have a P67AGD65B3 MSI um, mainboard. Um, basically, so obviously it supports everything I have here because I have that running. Um, it's a pretty good one, pretty good um, mainboard. Military class two for supposedly eight times longer lifespan, and hundred. According to this, it will last about. 160,000 hours, um, 10 year warranty, <laughs> for, for the office it'll last 40 years, if you're gaming with it it'll last 12, huh, that's, I really don't plan on keeping a computer for 12 years, that's, and what's really cool about this is, um, it has, I don't know if this is standard for most processors, but it has buttons on the side, um, so if you need to do a test build, you don't have to like, poke at a little pin to turn it on. There's actually um, a power reset um, button on it. And also next to those is an overclock button. So you don't need to do, basically push down the button while the computer's off, put it back together, and it'll overclock for you. Um, which is a nice feature. I don't really plan on overclocking for quite some time, but whatever. Um, four USB 3.0 ports, four SATA six gigabyte port, gigabit ports, gigabit per second ports, three year warranty, um, overall satisfied, um, setup wasn't that bad for it, and yeah, came with lots of good stuff, and it also has this feature called the supercharger, which I don't really plan on using, basically if you have a cell phone or something, it allegedly charges it three times quicker, um, I really don't plan on using that feature, because that just sounds dangerous, since it apparently works while the computer's off, and that doesn't sound too appealing to me. Um, anyway, that is basically my setup. I'm also running on um, 8 gigabyte DDR3 um, RAM. Nothing really all too special about it. Uh, I think the RAM was originally like 80 bucks, just but I got it for like 40 off. Basically, just go to Newegg, look up RAM. Like honestly, RAM is one of the things that is people are really way too quick to upgrade because you really don't need as much RAM as people are selling nowadays. Anyway, that's my um, I. I only have under a minute left of recording. So that's my system. I'm Matt from MattGCPC, and I'll catch you guys next time.